Hi guys, it's Jez from Windows Central here, and I just wanted to give you a quick run through of Groove Music and background audio for Xbox One. Now, Groove Music is a direct port of its PC version, a universal app now. It works across Windows 10 Mobile, Windows 10 PCs, and now Xbox One. It's completely replaced the previous app, and it's currently available on the Xbox One Preview. So let's take a look. Now to get this app, you first have to uninstall the previous app and then search for the new one in the store to replace it. I don't know if they're gonna do a direct update when this goes live to the public, but let's have a quick look. Now those of you who are familiar with Universal Apps will find this very, very easy to use. But those of you who are new to Universal Apps, you'll have to adjust yourselves a little bit to how it works on the console. Now the first thing to note is that you use the menu button on the controller to navigate through the different sections of the app. So you press the menu button and then you get this hamburger menu which users of the PC version will be very familiar with. When you install this app on your console, it will automatically sign you in and all the content that you have set up on your on your PC or your Windows 10 mobile, your playlists, your collection will automatically carry across. Now, one of the things we have lost in this current version is video uh, music video playback, which was available in the Windows 8 based Groove app. But that is coming back in a future update. This is a complete rewrite of the original app. It's it's completely different. So some features have gone missing. Other features are still there, but they might have moved on to other places. So first of all, I just want to show you a quick demonstration of how background music works on your console now i've got to use some royalty free music for this because uh obviously i don't, don't want to get a copyright strike from youtube so first thing you know just while we're here you can browse uh, your artists by using these windows 10 jump lists and we're gonna go and check out some eric satie who is an excellent classical pianist who bing tells me is in fact completely royalty free so let's listen When you're navigating around on a Universal Windows app, um, some of them have cursors similar to a mouse which binds to the joystick. We see this in Cast, we see this in Bacon It, but um, on the Microsoft developed Universal apps, it's just got these more familiar snap to element controls which you can navigate with the d-pad or the joystick a replaces the click button y is a global search button and b cycles backwards through the app and that sort of thing now to control background music on your console what you have to do is double tap on the xbox button on your controller and navigate down to this new multitasking menu you'll know this as the snap menu from before but this has been renamed as multitasking and now gives you these background music controls now you can skip through tracks using these buttons here this button returns you to the app that called the background music and you can also adjust the background volume like so so let's give that a try Now this is, of course, this is background music, so this is especially useful for when you're playing in games. So I've muted the audio just because, you know, I want you to be able to hear me. So if we just boot up Overwatch over here. Now even though we're booting up Overwatch, we've still got the background music playing over here. You can adjust the volume and like so. Still playing as you can hear. And so on and it works while running in the background with the game running in the background now you can jump straight back into the app simply by clicking on this full screen button here and as you can see the full screen apps um, sorry the universal apps are far faster than the previous Windows 8 developed apps at least on this build anyway but yeah, that's a quick look of background music on the Xbox one. It works exactly as you'd expect. It's, you know, totally robust. Uh, there's not a great deal of apps that use it right now. I believe Pandora uses it. The universal podcasting app cast uses it and an upcoming YouTube app called MyTube will also use it. Now, if we just head back to groove music, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the other features that it has. Um, when you do play music, it comes up in this full screen view. We get a look at, um, some pictures associated with the artist um, and presumably this screen will be where the, the music videos play when they come back. You can get this screen on PC as well by clicking the full screen button but it defaults to it on the console. 
Um, to navigate back through the app again, you press the menu button. You can press that from any position in the app. Go to your artists. You can get all your artists. You can filter the, your um, artist by alphabet. You can also filter them by purchase music, Groove Music Pass, and also music stored in your OneDrive. Now, one of the coolest things about Groove is that it does the subscription, which costs uh, $8.99 in the UK, I believe, per month. It does let, give you 100 gigabytes of OneDrive storage to store music. But of course, you can use that storage to store anything you like. But as if you're someone like me who listens to a lot of music that isn't available on Groove or Spotify for that matter, I purchase a lot of my music through Amazon and also a lot of Amazon uh, purchases also come with mp3 versions when you buy a cd so I, I store a lot of that music in onedrive and i can stream it straight from my onedrive account which is really useful so another one of these features that came with the anniversary update is your groove now these are personalized playlists based on your own preferences and i actually find these to be really really cool so you know these are all these are procedurally generated I believe based on your listening habits and uh you know i found them to be really really relevant every everyone i've spoken to has completely different playlists it's actually quite interesting to see how many different kinds there are based on all sorts of moods and you know and all sorts of categories like unplayed favorites like songs that I, I love from this artist that I haven't listened to yet, which is kind of useful, especially for a band like Swans that I've got, you know, dozens of albums and I haven't still haven't listened to loads of them yet. And um, but of course, also uh, beyond your own playlist, Groove also has this Explore tab, which also recommends music based on all sorts of different conditions. Now, some of these are, you know, for example, upbeat down tempo, new chill tracks with calming effects. We get guest playlists now, songs for the plane, all sorts of different uh, categories and, you know, situations you might find yourself in where you're looking, you're looking for some music you want to listen to, but you know, you, you don't necessarily want to have to put together your own playlist. I'm, I'm not someone who listens to playlists much. I don't generate my own playlists. Other people do. I don't really do that. I usually listen to albums straight through. So this is a pretty cool way to discover new music that I haven't listened to before. Um, we've also got these genre based playlists now, which I hadn't seen before. They're all new, which is pretty damn cool. And also we get in the explore tab, we get all the late releases that are heading to groove music we get playlists by activity which is really quite interesting focus workout party gaming that's a new one um family gaming soundtrack i'm guessing these are like <laughs> xbox and chill i'm guessing these don't have um much lyrics in the background and basically just act as background music for what you're playing that's pretty cool and then we get these playlists by mood as well these have all got icons now in the first version of groove on the console they didn't have icons and it looked very strange but yeah development is rapidly moving ahead with groove on the console and uh, on pc they've actually added the ability to edit the metadata of songs directly from uh from inside the app they haven't added this on console yet it'd be interesting to see if we do get that feature another feature we don't have on console is the ability to save music to your hard drive for offline listening uh i believe one of the reasons for that is um apps universal apps on the xbox don't yet have access to your hard drive um i think they have access to their own app folder but there's a limit on the amount of stuff you can put in there so um it'll be interesting to see if we do get access to that sort of functionality in the future but yeah that's background music and groove music for xbox one if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and all that good stuff i've been jez corden from windows central you can follow me at twitter at jez corden and as always thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time